Hello friends, today I'm going to tell you about this video in which I will solve this question which says how will you prepare this molecule starting from propyl bromide this one is a propyl bromide so you need a method now here you need a strategy that's where retrosynthetic analysis comes handy so you can't just pick pieces and make this molecule you need to devise a strategy and in order to do this first step is to do analysis that is called retrosynthetic analysis you need to think backward that how can you make this compound in order to do this you first first step is to recognize what functional group this is if you look here this is amide functional group we now think a moment how can you prepare this amide functional group there are a number of methods in which you can prepare amide functional group all right so the first obvious disconnection would be to disconnect this functional group into two parts those two parts will again rejoin together to give you the final product so the first step in the retrosynthesis is the last step in the synthesis. So first step in the backward is the first uh, is the last step in the synthesis. So you need to remember this point. Okay, this disconnection is called CN amide bond disconnection. And if you disconnect from this bond, it will break into two parts. One is called amine, the other is called acid. Now, if you think you can prepare amides using acid chlorides or esters, even you can use acids. And you can react this secondary amines with acids OH group group will re leave and then you will get the amide bond so this NH primary secondary amine reacts as a secondary amine and this acid group acts as a electrophilic center and this NH as a nucleophilic center all right you cannot stop here until you reach a propyl bromide that's what the question says so how can you go further from here easy you put a retrosynthetic arrow and you disconnect the carboxylic acid from this position all right what reagents will you require then the one reagent will become co2 and plus you will need a grignard reagent this is how you can make the carboxylic acids from Grignard reagent using Grignard reagent you can prepare the carboxylic now the first part is carbon dioxide and the second part is uh, carbon uh, Grignard reagent so let me draw this structure for Grignard so we disconnected from right at this point so this will become MGBR that is called Grignard reagent all right now you do FGI to convert MGBR into OH in order to make it simplify because our target is to reach towards propyl bromide okay so this is called FGI with converting magnesium bromide functional group into alcohol by using a, a strategy that is called FGI in which you interconvert between one functional group into another now this is OH alcohol the next step is to disconnect the alcohols now this is alcohol you can disconnect it from this position this area and you can start from simple now think about how can you prepare alcohols there are various methods but here you can select uh, the one part will become aldehyde and the other part will become the propyl bromide easy so this part will become aldehyde rcho okay and the other part will become propyl bromide plus and you can write even grignard region directly because when you react grignard region with aldehydes or ketones you get the alcohols so rather writing the bromide you can write exactly the Grignard region so when magnesium BR reacts with aldehyde it will give you the 
alcohol but even you can disconnect this magnesium bromide into propyl bromide from here now you can see this was the question which says that you need to start from the propyl bromide so now we can start from propyl bromide convert this bromine into magnesium br now react this magnesium br with aldehyde okay let's do the synthesis now this was the analysis now let's do the synthesis so what happens in synthesis we can start from propyl bromide all right in the first step we convert this bromide reagent into grignard one it's easy you just use magnesium in diethyl ether mg et et2o that is called diethyl ether and the next one is this one is ethyl aldehyde so i will write as et cho this is ethyl aldehyde and this will give you this compound okay let me copy this in order to save the time here you go da -da -da. by the way if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it and share it with your friends thank you and next step is to convert this OH into BR and then react it with magnesium bromide like we need to convert this alcohol into alkyl halide then we have to convert alkyl halide into alkyl magnesium bromide or alkyl magnesium chloride whatever so in order to do this uh, to convert this alcohol first into bromide then into magnesium bromide we need to use the brominating agent that is PBR3 it will convert the OH group this OH group into BR and the second is magnesium ETO2 that is the conditions for making Gignard reagent and number three you can use now CO2 what will do is it will make the carboxylic acid this the two CO2 and this magnesium BR will react together to give you this part all right so I can copy this so now this was our first step now it's gonna be the last step in our synthesis okay so this is here now now you react this acid or you convert this acid into acid chloride using thionyl chloride SOCl2 that will convert carboxylic acid into acid chloride because acid chlorides are more reactive SOCl2 and then you react it with the secondary amine the acid chloride will react with this secondary amine and it will give you the target molecule that was this so you can see now how we can use retrosynthetic analysis to make complex compounds from starting from very simple and easy molecules like propyl bromide is easily available very simple molecule and we used this molecule and made this big massive molecule having a functional group called TM so we disconnected logically parts by parts and we devised a synthesis in exam you have to provide synthetic strategy as well as retrosynthetic analysis so you need to think in terms of backward you need to think in terms of how you can make this and the step one will always be you need to recognize the functional group and disconnect from that position so this disconnection is for amides one one group functional one group functional group disconnection in this video is for one group functional group disconnection and i hope you liked it please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends i really appreciate it thank you